okay let's move to the next topic in the chemical equations and calculation that is we are discussing about the corrosion if you go for corrosion actually if you take some examples like uh, if you take some examples like apple potatoes apples and potatoes they contain an enzyme they contain an enzyme they contain enzyme they contain an enzyme that is polyphenol polyphenol tyrosinase tyrosinase or simply tyrosinase enzyme they contain an enzyme polyphenol tyrosinase or tyrosinase enzyme this enzyme which is present in the fruits that is apple and potato they interact so these fruits these are the fruits these fruits with the help of enzyme enzyme tyro tyro synase they interact with the that is they interact with the oxygen and they change their color they change their color for example apple if you take apple as a fruit in the presence of oxygen and enzyme tyrosinase tyrosinase enzyme okay apple is basically the fresh apple it is white in color the the flesh of the apple which we which we are going to eat which we are going to eat consume it is white in color but uh, with the help of the enzyme this apple in the with the help of the enzyme that is tyrosinase it comes in contact with the the cut apple if you cut the apple if you cut the apple the apple which contains the enzyme tyrosinase it comes in contact with the oxygen which is present in the atmosphere and immediately the same apple it changes its color from white color to that is brown color white color to brown color this is the this is a case of uh, corrosion this is in best example this is a best illustrative understanding of how corrosion concept takes place in the fruits which we consume biologically so this this is one example then another example is if you take a spoon of silver if you take a spoon of silver if this is a spoon of silver say for example okay this is actually which is grain color which is grain color it can come in contact with any acids acids like h2s it comes in contact with the acids like h2s and in the presence of moisture in the presence of moisture moisture contains oxygen immediately this silver this is a silver spoon the spoon is silver spoon which is grain color when the silver spoon which is grain color if it is coming in contact with acids and uh, in the presence of acids if the silver silver spoon reacts with the oxygen which is present in the moisture it gets tarnished to give to the, the same silver spoon the same silver spoon what you notice is a thick black color you can notice the thick black color the silver turns black the silver which is the silver which was gray when it is reacting with acids in the presence of oxygen that is which is available in moisture if it is converting to black then the conversion of the silver which is in gray to silver which is in black this conversion of the color of the silver is nothing but tarnishing so this tarnishing of silver from gray color to the black color okay is the tarnishing of silver from gray color of the silver to black color of silver is nothing but again the best example of illustrative example of corrosion similarly if we take the next illustrative understanding of corrosion is you take a piece of iron rod iron rod which is solid it is uh, coming in contact with the the oxygen gas which is present in the moisture which is present in the moisture here it uh, in moisture means little amount of water is also there if you take water okay that is moisture water vapor in the presence of water vapor this metal metal surface metal solid in the presence of moisture comes in contact with the oxygen 
a little amount of water vapor little amount of water vapor also is there in the atmosphere the atmosphere which contains water vapor and uh, the oxygen gas which is present in the moisture it goes and attacks the metal surface and immediately it converts the metal surface to metal oxide that is Fe2O3 of XH2O Fe2O3 of XH2O so conversion of metal to hydrated hydrated metal oxide is simply the best uh, illustrative understanding of the corrosion principle corrosion method so now one more example last example i would like to give you copper is basically if you take copper basically it is a uh, bluish in color bluish color but again copper when it is getting corroded it gets corroded in the presence of oxygen gas it becomes cupric oxide solid it turns to that is light green this is also this is also an example of corrosion so simply to put in a nutshell to put in a nutshell this corrosion in a much better simple terms that is corrosion we can corrosion is also nothing but called as rusting corrosion is otherwise also called as rusting rusting is simply nothing but chemical oxidation chemical oxidation of metal surface chemical oxidation of metal surface chemical oxidation of metal surface is rusting rusting is again nothing but corrosion so if you take some more applications of corrosion that is if you take disadvantages disadvantages of corrosion disadvantages of corrosion that is the disadvantages the <coughs> railway tracks okay railway tracks gets corroded railway tracks corrode gets corroded formation of formation of scales on metal surface formation of scales on metal surfaces similarly if you take some more examples disadvantages you can just see that damage of damage of car bodies car outer bodies outer bodies okay then you can take uh, that is damage of uh, that is ships damage of ships uh, okay ships if you take shipping shipping actually depends on the outer toughness of the body these are all the disadvantages of corrosion so what are the what are the preventive measures of corrosion if you go for preventive measures preventions preventions of corrosion prevention of corrosions we go for prevention of corrosions here actually we used we we need to use some technical terms here for understanding the corrosion that is you know galvanizing 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 is a method wherein which that is formation of protective layer on the surface of iron coating of coating of zinc over the surface iron metal coating of zinc over the surface of iron metal is galvanizing here actually the zinc will protect here zinc is acting as a sacrificial sacrificial anode the zinc is acting as a sacrificial anode okay it will see that even if the iron is getting even if the iron is getting corroded it will prevent the iron to stop the corrosion by itself getting oxidized that is for example i can give you one this galvanization exactly means that if you take an oxide of iron say for example you are taking fio this is metal oxide corroded corroded iron this is corroded ferrous oxide reacts with the solid that is zinc solid okay 
it is anodizing it is reducing it is reducing it is reducing the ferrous oxide to iron solid and by itself it is getting oxidized that means here zinc is trying to sacrifice zinc zinc is trying to sacrifice uh, in such a way that it is protecting the iron from oxide of iron once the iron is in the oxide state means iron is already corroded so it it has to convert the it has to prevent the corrosion to prevent the corrosion zinc is converting the corroded iron to the normal iron that is corrosion free uncorroded uncorroded metal it has become an uncorroded metal so this example will make us to understand very clearly how the corrosion is stopped here in the case of iron along with the zinc likewise if you take that is alloying alloying of metals alloying of metals in this alloying of metals what what do you mean by an alloy if you take an alloy if you take an alloy if you take an alloy that is mixing of mixing of mixing of two or more metals or non metals mixing of two or more metals or non metals in equimolar proportions in equimolar in the equimolar equimolar proportions 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 in equimolar proportions is simply called as that is alloy is simply called as an alloy and alloying of metals when you say alloying of metals that means you are increasing the you are increasing certain you are trying to improve the properties of metals metals or metal surfaces in order to avoid the process of corrosion so if that is the case i am continuing here if you take this alloying of metals for example you take copper if you want to prevent the copper from getting corroded this copper is mixed with zinc then it will form equimolar mixture i said already copper plus zinc will give you an alloy copper zinc alloy when copper and zinc if in a if it, it is forming an alloy this alloy is called copper and zinc if equimolar proportions are present with respect to copper and zinc then the alloy formed is that is brass this brass is an alloy which has high resistance power it is temperature resistant it can withstand the temperature it can withstand the temperature high temperature it is um, waterproof waterproof okay and uh, this brass can be used for various commercial purposes that is in the preparation of coins okay and the brass can be used in the manufacture of coins statues okay etc similarly if you take the copper and if you mix with tin it forms an alloy copper tin copper tin this is bronze 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 also it is used in the manufacture of that is uh, statues and uh, various machinery tough machinery used in the industry so that means alloys are always alloy formation of alloy from the metal surface for a given metal surface is always always an advantage because they are temperature resistant and they are waterproof they have um, they cannot be affected by the atmospheric condition and they have a longer life